you Rogue Warriors out there and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the badass independent movie, Bellflower. Bellflower is a unique independent movie. Fucking about these guys in Los Angeles. They're originally from Wisconsin. They're best friends since they were kids. They move out to LA just for fucking adventure and whatever. And girls, they go out there. They're kind of like hipster dudes just hanging out, getting drunk all the time, riding fucking bicycles around, buying junk. Starts out the movie, they're making a flamethrower. Why are they making a flamethrower? Because these motherfuckers love Mad Max. They love fucking Road Warrior. And they're really obsessed with fucking the bad guy who wore the fucking hockey mask. <laughs> Mad Max or Road Warrior. They want to be just like them when they grow up. So anyway, these motherfuckers, you know, they're kind of just doing their thing, being crazy fuckers, blowing shit up, shooting this flamethrower off. Meanwhile, the main guy, he meets a girl. He falls in love. They go on this crazy, almost cross-country trip just to fuck around. You know, they fall in love. They come back. Cut to a time later. And that's the thing. They don't say how much time later, but you can tell it's different. The girl has longer hair. The guy looks different. And that's really cool. That's what you can do with an independent movie. A real movie, they just throw a wig on and be fake and shit. But this one, I guess they probably took some time off. This movie probably took like a while to film, a year or two, or however long it took. So they came back to actually look different. Help so the reality and authenticity of the movie. So basically, one day, the guy comes home, finds his girlfriend fucking her roommate, whatever, weird fucking hanger-on guy, and then shit goes all downhill from there. He runs out, he jumps on his motorcycle, flies down the street, gets hit by a car, goes in the fucking hospital, brain damage, all this shit, comes out. He's fucking going crazy. He's afraid he's going to die of brain damage. His fucking friend says, fucking man, we got to do it now. And gets him a car. They start fixing up. Start building this badass Mad Max car, man. Fucking, they got pipes out the back to shoot flames. They got smoke screens to shoot out the back. I mean, these motherfuckers, just in case there's an apocalypse, these motherfuckers are ready. So, without spoiling it too much, the last probably half hour of this movie, after it was kind of this whimsical, whatever, dating girls, you know, kind of fun, kind of like whatever, little, you know, kind of like a modern day hipster swingers a little bit in LA, turns into like, you know, shit going downhill, just this guy's brain getting fucked up, you know, he's in a bad mood, he's fucking depressed, whatever, life starts to go to shit fucking badass car without spoiling anything a bunch of dark shit a bunch of badass shit happens especially once they get the car up and running there's lots of cool shots of them driving through LA and stuff so I'll tell you what man independent movies they're usually about some pretentious bullshit some arty bullshit some goofy quirky character this was just about some cool shit it was a small little intimate story but it went to a cool original direction I'll give these guys credit man you know it took him two years to, you know, the guy was living in people's garages and shit while he's editing the movie. Fucking hardcore. You gotta give his motherfucker credit. I really enjoyed for how dark and original it was. I wanna give Bellflower out a movie. I wanna give it seven and a half out of ten. Picture and sound. This is a Blu ray disc plus DVD. I watched the Blu ray, of course. Why the fuck would I watch the DVD? Whatever. Good picture quality. Uh, the, the, the movie, you know, they shot it on, they actually shot it on film, not video like a lot of ones. They shot it on film, sometimes they're, you know, I, don't, I think it was intentional, but sometimes there's dirt and stuff on the camera lens, gives it a gritty feel. But the way they shot it, man, like, it's, it's hard to describe the visual look of the movie. It's really rich colors, sometimes, like, the sides of the frame will be a little out of focus, and the front, it's got a real, the whole movie's got a real dreamlike quality. It's really cool to look at, man. Especially if you're drunk, especially if you're stoned, you're going to be like, wow, this is fucking cool. Sound, they got the DTS HD Master Audio, you hear the fucking car revving up and the surrounds and all that shit. Really good, really fucking, you know, nice, clean, clear soundtrack. Picture and sound, really good, I'm going to give this 8 out of 10. Extra features, they got a lot of extra features on here, man. Behind the scenes of Bellflower, featuring interviews with cast and crew, on set footage and more. You see a lot of little back behind the scenes shit, how they shot shit, all that. They, in my favorite, the Medusa rundown, in depth look at the hand built car. The car in the movie, these guys actually fucking made themselves, took them a couple years to put it together. They, they show the whole inside of it, you know, because it's been a couple years since they actually shot the movie. They just kept building, they kept putting more shit into it. They, they show you the stuff how it was in the movie, and now that they re upped it. I mean, this motherfucking thing is a real Mad Max car, man. Fucking is badass. Then you got outtakes, original theatrical trailer, real nice collection of special features for a low budget movie. You know, a lot of times, low budget movies, they don't, when they're making it, they don't think to, you know, do any interviews or something. They, they did a good job, man. Special features, I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10. 
So that's it for Bellfire, man. I mean, I want to tell you more of the cool shit that happens in it, but it would ruin it, and I don't want it to be that because, you know, it's different when you fucking make, like, a Batman movie and trailers are out for a year and shit, but these independent movies, the best scene, worth through mouth. Somebody tell you just a little bit about it to watch it, and then you watch it, and you're blown away. I like this, man. It just had a real, the music, the visuals, the story, just had a real cool, fucking creepy, original feel to it. I love this movie, man. So that's it for Hillbilly DVD reviews, man. Fucking take your car gut and get ready for the apocalypse. Fucking grab a shotgun, a flamethrower, and fucking kiss your ass goodbye, because it's Mad Max time. Lord humongous. <sighs> King of the Wasteland.